This is a response to a video by uh, a user called Miss X Rojas. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a video called Student Life. Well, it's kind of a response to that video. It's actually more of a response to the comments that are being made on that video because it's fascinating. The video itself is, a, is, I guess, this young woman is in her final year of university and uh, is, is saying all the things that she liked about university life and what kinds of things she'll miss, particularly things like student discounts, uh, the capacity to be a little bit sloppy about personal hygiene, as well as things like friendship, but lots of the, the kind of freedoms around university life. Uh, and a lot of the commenters, as I say, are kind of applauding that. They're either just about to commence university or they're at university now and are having those experiences or have graduated and are kind of missing those kind of experiences. And I, and I remember I was at university over 20 years ago, but um, almost 30 years ago, wow. Uh, and it was great, it was just like that. But uh, I have to say that if you want that, you don't need to pay £27,000 for it. That's what it costs in this country right now, in the UK. It used to be £3,000 a year, but from this September it'll cost just over £9,000 a year for most universities. So students will graduate with a £27,000 debt. And I know that's uh, been the case in the States for a long time, and other places. But, um, yeah, well, I don't know, if I do myself out of a job here. But many students who, uh, who you know, want a student lifestyle, particularly if you're, if you're motivated enough to be able to self-educate, and you're good at networking, so you can, you can create a peer group around you, you don't need to go to university to, to do those things. What I'd suggest is, somebody should organise this, it won't be me, but somebody should, is to get a couple of decent Facebook groups together, particularly oriented around cool cities, places like Bristol in the UK, or Nottingham, which is pretty cool, or Glasgow, which is cool, you know, it's cool cities. Facebook groups associated with those cities, for people of probably about your age, in your early 20s, late teens, early 20s, but possibly older as well, uh, and just decide that that's where you're going to go for your university of life education. Arrange to meet there at a certain time, arrange to all converge on this place in, let's say, end of September. Find lodgings for yourself, stay in touch with one another, act as a support group for one another. Find out what you want to learn. Don't even worry about what kind of course you're doing, because for most people it doesn't really matter, quite frankly. At least not in the early stages. Get to know each other a bit, talk about things, find out what you're interested in. Maybe teach one another bits of things that you know about. You know, maybe introduce one another to some thinkers that you find interesting. Watch some TV together and then critique, uh, critique it, or watch, go to a movie together and critique that. And when people ask, you say, I'm a student, I'm at the University of Life in Glasgow, or I'm at the University of Life in Nottingham or Bristol or wherever. You might have to borrow some money, but you won't have to borrow 27,000. You might have to live cheap and do a part-time job for a couple of days a week, but you still won't be in debt to the tune of 27,000. And uh, you'll probably have a great time. Do that for a couple of years, and if you still want to do it, and you still want to make the investment and come out with a piece of paper, which quite frankly for most people doesn't make the slightest bit of difference, then by all means go to a university and continue. But take my word for it, you can get all of those benefits without any of the expense if you do it right. Anyway, tell me what you think.